50 years of hip hop. 50 years of hip hop. 50 years of hip hop. It uh, put all of us in this room. Uh, it's afforded us all. Um, not even having to do a job, you know, because it's something that's second nature to us, something that we love. Um, you know, speaking for myself, that's how I feel. But 50 years of hip hop, you know, I, I found this letter that I wanted to write, uh, excuse me, that I wanted to read, um, that I found uh, a mentor of mine by the name of uh, Mr. Clive Davis. Uh, he wrote this letter 25 years ago to Billboard, uh, 25 years ago this week. And uh, I was trying to figure out what to say tonight, and I just thought about reading the letter. Um, by the way, I told Gail in advance I was gonna do this. She read the letter, so I don't want anybody from Billboard to uh, take this the wrong way. Uh, but the letter was to the late editor-in-chief, Timothy White of Billboard, in August of 97. And he wrote, Dear Timothy, I'm writing you not to complain about a particular review but to strongly protest what is clearly a personal crusade by yourself or Paul Verna against the genre of rap albums. Certainly the most successful of them. Last November, in reviewing Tupac, a.k.a. Machiavelli album, Billboard called the album Tortured, a tired exercise in self-justification and simply pathetic. In April, in reviewing the notorious B.I.G. album, Life After Death, Billboard called the album hypocritical and a sad waste of time. And once again, Billboard's review of Puffy Combs' album used the same words, tired, demeaning, etc. He goes on to say that the trend is patently clear. And just as an editor who admires self-contained rock artists should not be ever allowed to review Streisand, the Billboard reviewers with pre-existing attitude should really disqualify themselves from the rap genre. They're doing a tremendous disservice to the industry. The expected level of objective criticism is just not being met, and bias, and the bias, is much too blatant. I read that in particular, and it's good I have all your attention now, I hope you all heard that, because that was just 25 years ago. And I think we take the progress uh, that we've had as a genre, that we've had as a people, that we've had as a culture, uh, sometimes for granted, uh, myself included. And it was important for me to read that to this room because that was just in 1997. All of us were alive in 1997. And all of us were here. And what then soon ensued and happened after that letter is that they hired, to, they hired excuse me, they had to hire Gail Mitchell in 1999. And as I was just talking to Gail about backstage, she then became the custodian. She then became the shepherd. She then became the guardian for us of our genre in this publication at that particular time. And again, I think Gail deserves a round of applause, please. And then came Mike Van. And then came Hannah Karp, who regretfully can't be here tonight because she has a stomach bug in uh, Europe with her family. But uh, these people, I believe, firmly believe, all have our best interests at heart and all represent our culture and our genre in the right way. And uh, for me, um, this is not my award. This is the award for us, everybody in this room. I'm actually going to leave it here at this podium. Uh, this award is for the culture uh, that we love, that we represent. And I'm gonna leave this award here because this award is for us. I remember in, in the summer of 2020, uh, the many awkward conversations that we all had at that particular time, the things that we had to have corporate conversations about, um, the kind of, uh, all of it, I think we all we certainly don't wanna relive the, relive the drama of 2020 in particular, and the, the things that we all experienced in that particular regard, but. I remember at that particular time that I felt that the best way that I could serve uh, my community and my culture uh, is to do what I'm doing now and um, really makes me 
very gratified, makes my heart very full to see the success that we're having. L.A. Reed, thank you so much for the intro. Um, this man right here, a big part of my life. I'm so proud of you today. Number one most added, L.A. Reed uh, today with, uh, he's reunited with Usher, which is amazing. And they just had the most added record of the year of any label in the business today, 79 ads out of 96. So L.A. Reed, congratulations to you as well, sir. But I think it's really important for us to really understand our responsibility as custodians, as guardians, as shepherds of this genre and protect it because I do believe that we're actually under siege. I do believe a lot of people are not happy for the success of the most successful genre in the world now. Lots changed since 1997. And I have to give uh, respect and shout out to Miss Sylvia Roan, who's in the house right now. Please, everybody give Sylvia Roan a round of applause, please. Much like Gail, this woman's been there since the beginning, carrying the torch for us. Also have to give a shout out to Monty Littman and Avery Littman as well, who supported me when I was starting Apple Music. Monty and I have had many, many conversations around. Uh, Monty was there at the front, Avery was there at the front, Wendy Goldstein was there at the front of streaming when I joined Apple Music. And in terms, I'll give you, give you one more example of what it means to be a custodian and a guardian for the culture. I remember being at Apple in the early days and actually fighting against and arguing against and debating for the iTunes and the Apple Music charts to be combined because ultimately it would dilute our perceived impact. And these are the things that we have to do. These are the things that have, we have to do to stand up for our culture. So uh, this award is for us, and thank you so much. And I accept it for all of us. I'll leave it right here. Thank you so much. Have a good night.